Sharpened Iron Studios is hosting the Amarillo premiere of its new film, What Remains. Thanks for joining us. Andy Justice has this evening off. It's the studio's first feature film and the first full-length film shot in Amarillo since 1963. Tonight, KAMR Local 4's Kaylee Green caught up with cast and crew on the red carpet ahead of the screening at Good News. Topping our news tonight at 10. What Remains stars the late Anne Heche for her final feature film project, as well as Kellen Lutz and Cress Williams. So I play Marshall. He's a, a pastor who has lost his wife five years prior in this crime, and uh, a gesture of grace, uh, he asks for leniency on, on the character uh, played by Kellen, who commits the crime. And I was really drawn to the fatherly aspect of this character. That convict whom the pastor forgave returns and the relationship causes issues with the pastor's son. For writer and director Nathan Scoggins, it was important to explore faith while keeping with the family theme. It's hard to forgive. When someone wrongs you or hurts you, it's, it's difficult to forgive. But what is harder and what's more costly to, to not forgive? And so this movie is really about the forgiveness, the work of forgiveness, and the cost of forgiveness, and the cost of unforgiveness. And that's what kind of inspired me. And the story resonated with the actors, too, especially as Lutz and Williams are both fathers. It's definitely something that, as I step into roles like this, and I've done it one other time, at the end of it, I'm always so grateful for my faith and where I'm at with forgiveness and being able to forgive. When I read it, it was that everything that the character did in these really tough situations, I felt like I would do. And, and then ultimately the ending leaves you unsettled. Scoggin says Amarillo was the perfect place to film the movie, not only because of the topography, but also the generosity of the people. This is Amarillo at its finest, you know, and I, I hope that people stay and watch the credits tonight because so many local names, so many local people were involved in making this. We could not have done it without the community support. Now, after tonight's premiere, the cast stayed for a question and answer session about the film. If you missed it tonight, What Remains is also showing at Cinemark Hollywood 16, and it comes out on iTunes tomorrow. Live in studio, Kaylee Green, KAMR Local 4 News. Jackie. Kaylee, I know that was an assignment that you enjoyed today. Glad that you got to go. Ahead of the premiere, Sharpened Iron Studios had a special ceremony as well. They hosted a handprint ceremony today with some of the stars of the film and celebrated being in Amarillo for two years. The studio's founder says the city has made the studio feel at home. We, whether it's, it's the city council, the AEDC, the community at large, um, we've been absolutely embraced, absolutely loved. Um, you know, a couple of the private homes that we filmed in um, didn't charge us, and the wives made casseroles for, for the cast and crew. And it was just, it was incredible. The studio's hoping to start their next film called Joplin in the spring.